This work is about collaborative relative pose estimation in six degrees of freedom for two UAVs with overlapping fields of view. Consider viewing a scene using a standard stereo camera. The fixed baseline between the cameras quickly reduces to insignificant as the stereo camera moves away from the scene, essentially becoming equivalent to a monocular camera. If the two cameras now are carried by two aerial vehicles, we can have much more power to adjust this baseline according to the depth of the scene that is observed. In order to achieve such a variable baseline stereo rig, however, we need to be able to estimate the relative pose between the two UAVs. Using a leader follower paradigm, we can coordinate the motion of two UAVs operating in the same workspace such that only the leader takes commands for their motion. In order for the follower to follow the leader, the relative pose T needs to be estimated continuously. In this spirit, here we propose a framework where two UAVs are equipped with both visual and inertial sensors and run local odometry on board independently. These odometry estimates provide a prior of the relative transformation T between the UAVs, which is refined by aligning the current camera frame of each UAV to their joint map. As a result, T is estimated in 6 degrees of freedom at an absolute scale. Using simulated noisy data, in this experiment, the proposed framework is tasked with estimating the relative pose of two UAVs, maintaining a constant baseline. As seen here, our method is able to estimate the relative pose with high fidelity with UAV B in yellow shown to correctly follow UAV A at a constant baseline. This video demonstrates the proposed approach using real sequences from the UROC benchmark. UAV A experiences the same trajectory as UAV B but with a time offset. On the left, the current camera views of the two UAVs are visible. The uncertainty of the landmarks are illustrated as ellipses. The relative pose between the two UAVs is evaluated against ground truth and after initialization these errors are shown to be bounded.